I've just lit a candle on our cricket stand where many people have come into the Abbey to light a candle to offer to God their thoughts and prayers at different stages and times in their lives. And perhaps as they've gathered here, they too have thought about that line from scripture where Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. We are journeying through very strange times as a community, as a country, as a world, when it can feel as if the darkness of everything that's happening will simply overwhelm us and we don't know what's going to happen next. We don't know where to look for light and hope. Perhaps lighting a candle might be a way of shining some light into the situation. Churches together in England have invited people to join them in reflecting and thinking about Jesus as the light of the world on this coming Sunday, on Mothering Sunday, 22nd of March, at seven o'clock, to wherever they are, to light a candle and to put it somewhere actually visible, perhaps in the window of their home, so that across our community, across our country, there will be lots of lights flickering, bringing hope, sharing the light of Christ, somehow dispelling the darkness that is around us at the moment. And as we light those candles on Sunday, we will of course be remembering all those who have been affected by this pandemic, all those whose lives have been turned upside down. And as we do that, perhaps this prayer might say what we want to say. Loving God, bless us all, particularly now, particularly when we are comforting others, particularly when we are offering hope, particularly when we people are isolated, particularly when we feel overwhelmed ourselves, particularly when we are afraid. Help us to remember that you are right here now in the midst of us, calling us by name. Amen.